Uh, welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us today's webinar. My name is Rajesh Rajan and I am assistant professor at Global Institute of Technology, Jaipur. Today we are of creating a future with AI. By presented by Mr. Afram Singh Lama, that is digital marketing evangelist. And the second speaker is Mr. Swapnil Jain. I would like to introduce today's presenter. First one is Mr. Akram Lama, our digital marketing evangelist. He is marketing guru with 17 years of experience in media and education sector while being a sought after industry expert who specializes in influence marketing. And uh, Sapnil Jain, that is CEO of Ori Robotics, has uh, of 17 years experience and is a proficient all-rounder when it comes to product evangelism, project management, seed investments, mentorship, entrepreneurship, leadership, speakers, and tech evangelism. He is a CEO at Ori Robotics, co-founder of FMA Digital, and uh, director adoption of social media and academia. It, uh, it was just a little housekeeping before we get started. If you have any question during the presentation, please type them into the question box on your bottom right uh, control panel. I will bring them up during the presentation and we will also have time for questions at the end. Now, without further time consuming, we will turn the time over to presenter. Please welcome Mr. Akram Singh Lama. Akram, uh, you are not audible. I believe you are on mute. Uh, am I audible now? Yes, yes, sir. Good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you, Rajesh, sir. Uh, thank you, the management of GIT Jaipur, uh, for giving the opportunity to me and Swapnil to have an interaction with you today uh, on very in-demand topics. And both of us have planned to cover something in a very structured manner. Uh, first part where I am dealing is something where you are in your stage of life and what you are expected to do. So something related to that, uh, something which talks about you first. And then because of the stage you are in, a topic which can give you a very clear idea that what is happening around and what all you can do in this world of today. So Rajesh sir, can we have the slide? I have a very interesting opening statement for everyone. So I'm sure all of you can read this out yourself. And please take a minute to think about it. Great. I'll tell you the relevance later about this. Now quickly, I'm coming, which is my background and coming to you that why we are talking about brand new today. So see, I have spent uh, the last 17 years of my working life interacting with students like you across various verticals, close to 25,000 students across 15 odd major cities in the country. And I have interacted right from uh, the perspective of understanding where you are coming from, from the point of view of what is content creation, what is content delivery and what is content marketing, uh, from the point of view of what are your education backgrounds, uh, why have you chosen your present careers, uh, which direction are you headed and a lot of things which can explain that what exactly the perspective is of brand new. Brand new is a thing that you have to do today. So, you know, before I begin, I want to share something about you people only. So, Rajesh, sir, can we have the first poll quickly? So that we know that of the, all the people who have joined in the Rajasthan and other areas, what they are representing, which way, whether they are graduates or they are pursuing engineering or doing some other course or are postgraduates. Can we have the first poll, please?
Uh, so very interesting results coming in. Wow. So great. So we have a good mix uh, over here. And um, I would like to begin by saying that, you know, all of you are at a certain stage of your life now, which can be described into three categories. There is a one set of you sitting out there who is very sure that what is the direction of your life. You know that where you are headed. You know that what is your future like and what you plan to do in it. There is a second set of you who's pretty much confused about it. There are many doubts that come to you. You know, I can do this, I can do that. I've done engineering, but what should I do further? Or I've done my post-graduation, I'm planning to do this. How should I do it? And you hear sometimes your friends or your parents or your society people, neighbors or anybody who motivates you. And you still change your mind or you're not sure about it. And there's always a doubt. In fact, some of you already have started something doing and then you are, whether you want to do this or not. And then the third set of people are, who have no idea, you know, that what exactly their plan in life is. Maybe they just want to go with the flow of it. But one thing is for sure that all of you are looking for a future, all of you are looking for a direction and nothing wrong even if you fall into any of the categories. That's how the life is. But yes, if you understand certain parameters, you, you realize two most important aspects. One is your capabilities. And I'll explain that. And second is your aspirations. So the day your capabilities and your aspirations, they match. That is the day you start reaching out to the purpose of your life. I remember very clearly, you know, that uh, before Corona virus, uh, when I was uh, doing my assignments with the DG series for Times of India group. And, you know, just a question came to me and I thought to myself that, at age of 40, I just want to retire and I want to just give back to the society, whatever I've learned in the last 17 plus odd years. And uh, trust me on that, I've started moving in that direction. So my point is very clear on that, that the day you know what are your capabilities and the day you realize your aspirations after marrying them both, that is when the direction starts coming. Now let's come down to what is the situation today. So all of you sitting out there are pretty young people. And you must realize that, you know, that our country has gone undergone a phenomenal change. Not only I'm talking about the present day, present day, the world has gone for a global disaster. And, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a opportunity also that we are looking at, but we have gone through a change. If you look at the history, we had industrial evolution, we had globalization. And in the last two decades, we've had digitalization. And that is where the present situation and advantages I'm going to talk about, the topics I've mentioned on the screen are relevant. Today, you have every information available on the net. Trust me, my dear friends, 15 years, 20 years down the line, uh, when we had graduated and post-graduated and started our work areas, we were not having that, those kind of liberties, those kind of, you know, uh, uh, parameters that you have available today. It, it was just the start of it. So trust me on that, the information you hold today is to your biggest advantage. All of you are using uh, internet in some form or the other for sure. Uh, Rajesh sir, can we have another question uh, related to uh, the next question regarding, regarding their career paths? So all of you can start voting, you know, that what you're looking forward, uh, the way I told about aspirations and capabilities. So, so what you're looking at, I want to understand that before I tell you the situation and the advantage. Great. The majority of you are headed for a job, maybe in the government or the private sector or an MNC. 
the second best you are looking at eventually is to look into entrepreneurship and startups some are interested still in the family business and rest have other plans uh, that gives a very quick, uh, good idea thank you so much uh, moving back again to this part which i was talking about the first and formative thing that you have with you is today is the information trust me on that there is endless endless scope of what you want to know many of you most of you would be searching google whenever you have any doubts any kind of questions in mind so trust me this is one of the biggest advantages that you have in the internet era as of now and that too in your handset in your hand itself anywhere and everywhere it's possible second trust me last two decades have seen india change in terms of exposure also the kind of infrastructure that has set in the kind of opportunities that are coming in the kind of the way that we have moved from globalization to the today's age where india is in fact today being considered a market um, especially in this present scenario where uh, the covid 19 has happened and uh, china is not being looked upon with very good eyes india today stands to have those opportunities and you having the background of that exposure that technology is giving you the right platform so trust me on that whether we may talk about lot of issues and lot of problems everyone is facing uh, in this present time but consider it look at the positive side of it in fact it is today it is the technology that has made us possible that you know that we are talking to each other we are connected and we are interacting on various issues so having said that i say that this is a time where you have to realize that when in the next one year two years three years when you are hitting the market and as most of you have said that you either want to get into the job market or you want to possibly get into entrepreneurship or startups trust me today is the time that you have to get ready for it your part one of your life is getting over and part two of your life is starting which is your work life so a very important thing over here comes is to realize on these parameters and i will come to brand you but before that these are a few aspects where i want you to think about it that you know these are the things that will give you the base you want technology i don't need to tell you most of you are the students and very important topic coming up in the next 15 20 minutes so you will yourself realize that how technology is playing levels that never anyone imagined never ever anyone thought about many of you would have experimented in your labs and would be going to the big big platforms of real life work areas uh, whether it's some industry or whether it's some uh, work area where you'll go and experience all these uh, technological parameters in a very different level altogether and uh, the opportunities are laid out obviously for that part now what should you be open about you should be open about experimentation because at a later point of time i would be telling you in the next slide that why it is important how it is an important part of your brand you similarly if we come to the potential if we come to the passion if we come to the talent if we come to the motivation all four of them the other founding pillars you have to actually be able to answer each one of them for yourself individually what is that one one unique talent about me what i am the most passionate about one thing that motivates me most in the life so now this is not a detailed uh, uh, example session where i can tell you each and every parameter but important things is that if you take the situation and the advantage and these parameters into mind trust me on that world over these are many parameters on which everything is based on which is called as you the scenario as i've already told you about this has all happened in the last 20 years trust me my friends the world's largest taxi company uber doesn't own a single taxi largest accommodation provide, provider Airbnb, airbnb does not own a single real estate same goes for the phone companies telco infrastructures same goes for the most valuable retailer alibaba doesn't have inventory same goes for the media space facebook doesn't have any content that is the new interesting thing that has happened and this has happened in the last two decades so you've got to realize that what is the potential and by the way all of them are present in our country in a big way so coming to the very specific question why i wanted to interact with you and why 
uh, the management at GIT wanted that I share the synopsis of uh, very much talking about yourself. You know, I'm talking from I'm coming from very basic stuff, and I'm not here to talk about soft skills or personality development or stuff like that. I'm here to talk about you. The most important thing in life is to define yourself, is to discover yourself, is to answer the question who I am or who am I. And as I've already said earlier, the best classic way to understand that, that is that you have to identify which are the top three or five capabilities you are good at. And then you need to understand what do you want? What are your aspirations? The day you start mapping both of these, trust me on that, a direction will come. I can guarantee you on that. And when I was coming to ex experiences and examples, trust me on that, the very basics of communication, which everyone says is storytelling, is based out of that. If I'm talking to you today and able, I'm able to share certain examples, if I'm able to tell you with experience, that is how my story is coming before you. I told you that I've interacted with 25,000 students plus in the last 15, 17 odd years. Right from uh, in your city, for example, I can give you an example here. I was uh, fortunate enough that when I was in the beginning of my career, I was part of the team that launched uh, 94.3 My FM, uh, which is the FM station in Jaipur in 2006. So what I've done here, and when I visited GIT in the HR summit, say about a couple of months back, uh, trust me on that, uh, you know, I saw the change when I listened to the radio, when I saw the things around that in 15 years, what all has changed? So much exposure, so much of, so much of changes, so much of growth, so much of, you know, everything. Why are you able to relate and why I'm able to share, share that? It's just because of my experiences and examples. And the same goes for you. The day, no matter how small, how big your example is, no matter how, what kind of experience you've had, the day you start sharing your story, trust me, that's how you start sharing about yourself. The very basic fundament of brand you. I find very interesting when many students and many people question me, sir, what do you think is confidence? You cannot define confidence. Confidence is something that is inside you that comes out when you make a brand you of yourself. Very basic things, nothing to tell you about in it, but nobody does it. Reading. What are you reading? What is your history of reading like? I wanted to ask you a question. Uh, let's let's have it. In fact, the third question quickly. What are you doing in lockdown? Let's let's hear it out. Uh, Rajesh, sir, can we have the poll quickly once again? Wow, that's very fascinating, you know, that I'm really impressed that if all of you are adding a new skill to yourself, this is a classic, classic example of moving forward in your life. Fantastic if you're doing that. But I know many of you are still uh, jumbling on the, the, you know, the Jamtaras and the Pataloks of the OTT platforms. And also many of you are in, or otherwise hooked on to the entertainment scenario. Nothing wrong with that. But yes, what is important is yes that this is the time you can upscale yourself. And this is the time you can start planning your journey because if in the next one year, two years or three years, things when they become better and good, if you are better prepared, well prepared, if you have made the change and investment in you, trust me on this, you would head it for a direction which is likely to give you the best results possible. Whether it's seeking a job or it's getting into own business or whether it's joining anything, anything. So please start looking into the brand new aspect of yourself. Small things, nobody bothers. Writing, what opportunities you have to today, you know, 
you can get into blogging you can write for yourself listening the biggest problem that we face today in fact i was reading uh, recently in a very uh, in a very humorous manner you know they said that uh, human beings you know they they listen half they understand one fourth they think zero and they react double and it's true you know when we were kids uh, we used to listen and that's how we've learned what we speak what we think what we've heard jab bachcha hota hai to wo jab charon taraf ka sunta hai so that's how our uh, you know our communication or what we speak is built up of when we listen to the society around when we listen to other people but after a certain time we realize that we stop listening and you know if you start listening properly trust me half your foundation of your knowledge half the foundation of your communication is easily built what you will be speaking would be based on that and last but not the least and my favorite uh, which is in fact why i say my favorite is because i have made it a motto of my life that i am always open for learning even from the smallest of examples even from the biggest of exposures i keep myself open for learning every minute of my life in fact i am interacting with you today after this swapnil session is there i would be learning so much from that as well so always be open for learning and there are many more things the journey continues because it's a lifelong cycle but yes if you focus on these basic founding founding pillars you'll start realizing that how and you know how much it is required that you yourself make so much powerful so i'll not put emphasis uh, so much emphasis on it but sometimes you know these are the words that really strike us the most you know everybody i i hardly have met people in my life who say that you know they don't want to be famous or they don't want fame or they don't want acknowledgement in their life question is always there it's a very important thing you must remember in these times and i'm talk talking about these times because you are the fortunate generation you have the exposure you have the opportunity you have the base of you know the world before you so trust me on this it is all about coming out of your shell it is all about making yourself visible it is all about showcasing yourself the more you do it the more opportunities will be out there for you and i have a very funny example i i can take this on the digital side but uh, i'll still share with you do you know about them yes or no quickly can we have some answers yes or no yes no yes no any yeses trust me on that the dancing uncle today is the brand ambassador of bajaj fin surf he goes to the extent of charging a uh, lakh one and half lakh for appearances at shows at some events chai pilo aunty is in fact the brand mem- uh, ambassador of mumbai police and that's what's happening the opportunity is in fact coming to uh, uh, you know anybody and everybody so coming back to that part where i was talking about the skilling part of brand you please understand uh, you have to work on the communication bit, bit of it i feel it very uh, i found it very sad when people say that you know mujhe english nahi aati hai aisa kuch statements aata hai it is not about that english is important because it is the business language of the world but beyond that it is important to express yourself ltr is nothing but listening thinking and responding very important ghar pe aap log sab try kar sakte hain with your parents or with your brother sisters or your friends you know start the technique of listening thinking understanding and responding you can do that with yourself in the mirror itself trust me on that you'll come to know what is right what is wrong that's how your body language comes across today i'm sitting over here on a chair my body language is restricted altogether in fact by 75% i'm not used to sitting and talking i love to move around i love to interact i love to show the screens that's how it is and that's how your body language speaks naturally creativity something about you identify your u- unique selling proposition what's your usp what's the best thing about you look forward to having a problem problem solving attitude 
whatever you are doing in terms of your courses try getting the content expertise in that try working in teams on projects improve your presentation skills look into your strengths and weaknesses and trust me on that when you start doing all these things when you start working on all these verticals trust me on that a direction for a brand you starts coming these are small things but all of you can research onto it you can get in touch with us also at a later point of time we can happy to help you on uh, various aspects but these are the verticals where you need to start working trust me on that small things but if you work better on them everything can move into a direction now here are the some people uh, which we have been seeing on and off i am sure you would have seen some of them zakir uh, he is my ex student a very dear friend tanmay bhat from aib and i am sure i am not mistaken about it everybody knows about this gentleman he is one of you this gentleman today has made a name uh, through bbk wines to a limit no one can imagine he was recently on the red carpet of the biggest film festival of the world which is cannes he recently sang the opening for the uh, nba basketball in uh, mumbai he is tied up with the biggest influencers in the world today and is coming with lot of properties has a dedicated team working for him full time so i'm sure you know these are the people which have come out from us within us and in the last few years obviously the question comes to us that how did they do it was it just uh, luck or skill or was it both obviously everybody would think about it ki maybe he is lucky enough maybe he had the right skills maybe he had both or she had both it is because they realize the power of brand you what they were capable of what they were capable of bringing and offering and they were visible for it through digit three things in common which really helped everyone and which helps everyone knowledge commitment and consistency knowledge i was listening to one of the webinars uh, yesterday and the chairman of uh, aict dr uh, swatra budre was uh, part of it anil sir and you know what he said and it it just uh, impacted me a lot he said internet is information when you digest that information that becomes knowledge so trust me on that three very common things three things which can really make wonders out of you be committed to what you are doing always be consistent in that that's how you going to maintain the uh, the parameter of what you are how exactly you are coming with and with the right set of knowledge everybody knows this gentleman the captain of the indian team everybody loves him everybody wants to be those are cricketers want to be like him but it's only practicing that can make you move in that direction that's why all of you need to think about work upon brand you it's a very very vast subject but i have tried to consolidate it try to give you idea try to put a thought in your mind that it's very important to know yourself identify yourself and then figure out certain parameters which you can work for in the next one year two years three years or maybe throughout your life and improve upon yourself keep learning that's how the system goes make yourself better better brand you and now i have the privilege and the honors of getting before you a very dear friend also and the ceo of uh, orai Rob robotics swapnil jain who is here to discuss something that you are going to be very very excited about that is going to be very close to something that is you are looking forward to in terms of your future over to you swapnil thank you akram thank you very good morning everyone i'm sure everyone would be enjoying i think there's a huge audience out there those who are uh, watching and i'm sure the way akram have thought the way akram has given you the insights on how important it is to become a brand you and 
how important it is to market you for doing whatever you want to do makes a lot of sense and difference in the future. I mean, I'm sure the polls which I saw, many of you are in engineering, undergraduate, postgraduate, and tomorrow, once you're coming out of the college, it would become a most important thing for you that how the organizations are seeing. Are they just looking into your resume? That's one page or two pages, and then 99% of the resumes are copy paste. I mean, we all agree to that, right? But what will make a difference is your presence, is your details over the social media, what projects you have done, how have you branded yourself, what particular thing you have carried forward since your college time till your career time in that particular subject or particular expertise you have carried forward. So the second pool which was talking about, hey, many of you are actually involved in uh, getting new skills. I mean, how important it would be that that skill, you write something, you discover something, you research something, keep posting, make yourself as a brand. So, well, I'll connect from there and uh, I'll move forward with a very, very interesting thing. And I can guarantee you one thing. I'm not going to teach you anything today. That's true. So that's the very best thing. I'm just going to guide you that where and how you can find your path in various things. The world, the next generation where we all are moving how different it would be and how you can actually cop up and how you can come along with this. Okay, so we are talking about learning the basics of creating a future with AI. I have anyways given you quickly, those who wanted to get connected with me on LinkedIn and all, here is the QR code. Just scan that QR code with your phones, you'll be able to get connected with me. And I move forward in case if anyone required the, this detail, they can just put it on the, the chat window. We'll share it later. So the topic which I'm covering here is AI, and I'm pretty sure that majority all of you are aware of this particular term, AI. I mean, you can even interact with me on the chat and just write it, how much of you know it. But yes, you have watched many of the things like movies like Terminators and Lucy's, then you have uh, Carbons and Black Mirrors on Netflix and many others. Like AI is the science of generating and making intelligence oh. machines especially intelligent computer programs, robots, and getting connected to the IoT. So there are many things where you are actually looking AI, right? And now if I move to the next slide quickly, because I'm just moving quickly on these slides, because I have something very, very special to you, which you will learn and take away as a workshop today. Uh, use of an AI in a day-to-day -day life, like smart assistants like Shiri's and Alexa's, you have disease mapping and prediction tools. I mean, many hospitals, you might have already started seeing that they put up a thermometer and you start checking. There are bots launched by uh, bigger hospitals that the bot or the robot is standing at the gate and mapping you and seeing you and checking you. And then based on his intelligence, is letting you know whether you are allowed or you are infected or not. Uh, we have seen drones making a impact on the entire world and this is going to be huge because the kind of a world we are entering where the humans connections or reach will be limited and has to be limited where the drones will take it up. Then we have uh, personalized healthcare treatment recommendations. Then we are seeing songs, TV shows, Spotify, Netflix. They give you the recommendations. That recommendation is based on the behavior and the uh, uh, and the uh, learnings what the way you have been listening to the uh, songs, seeing the movies, and then the recommendations come in. I'm sure everyone has heard about, heard about the AI chatbots, virtual assistants, and the customer cares. I mean, you might have interacted with the Swiggies of the world. You have your bank accounts. Your, there is a chatbot on the bank accounts. You interact with them. Without humans, you're able to get connected with them and get your things sorted out, right? Mm, somebody is writing, please share your PPT. I'm not sure if it is live or not. Akram, if you can see, I think that's fine. Now let's go. So as we all are engineers here, we all are graduate, undergraduate. I'm sure everyone would be thinking, hey, where do I start with? I, I mean, uh, use of an AI in the various engineering streams. Manufacturing, you can use this in the manufacturing side of it. Aviations, the aviation students who are going, the AI becomes a very integral part in the aviation system. So all the operations are typically driven, the predictions, the forecast, everything is there. 
the computer science and he was i mean everyone says that hey if it is ai i mean the computer science people can only do it i mean i can prove that wrong it's not that way <clears throat> so computer science people yes for you it is definitely there from a programming standpoint you look at the electronics uh, reaching uh, i mean researchers are using ai to the automatic design process and reliable power electronics converters i mean there are many use cases where the ai used in the electronics gaming industry big time because i'm sure many of you would be playing online games i mean i could have put that poll in fact and i would have got a good response so in the gaming it is really difficult to win certain games and that's where the ai learns in the back end continuously the machine learning learns itself that how the person is playing a game and accordingly the the complete gaming solutions get enhanced and becomes more difficult to win them then we have a space full of ai i mean yes you all know about it so the next big thing move i wanted to move so i told you that there is an implication at all the places as my expertise is typical on the software board side of it so i thought why not to divert a direction towards this and then teach you how everyone can make use of it so software boards what are they uh, software board is a program designed to automate tasks typically these tasks are simple repetitive and routine tasks so this is one very very important that how can you train this is a start point but once you start from here then comes the use of a machine learning and then comes the use of a deep learning where once you have given a basic framework to your ai bot and the questions are started answering then it machine is learning from its own and then once it starts learning of its own so we go into the deep learning side of it and make it more more advanced right so i might uh, you might have experienced this uh, where the software bots comes into the play like at homes you have seen right well the software makes uh, your reservation i can book a table uh, in fact i can move the curtain i can switch off the fans i can do everything and i can set the timers for all that you're seeing ai there right typically uh, in fact a smallest possible thing like washing machine they are like ai driven nowadays right so that's how the homes are getting benefited at work for sure it increases a lot of efficiency and productivity of the employees so use of ai makes a difference and i'm going to show you one example today of that uh, at a service desk uh, we have talked about the swiggies of the world olas ubers and all that i mean the moment you have taken up a cab and you have got down and but uh, you have cancelled it and your 50 rupees or 60 rupees whatever it may be have got detected now you definitely want to reach out to the customer care and say ki boss can you please refund that i don't want that so immediately these kind of a things can just happen with the conversation with the service desk automatically you really do not need to call and speak to the person sometimes this all get refunded automatically after certain uh, steps what you have taken so you're seeing this implications everywhere right the most important thing i'm sure everyone who was looking out for the careers which akram asked let's see how about talking about a career in ai so the one definitely is an academic career to have an academic career in artificial intelligence people usually go for the researches phd's and fetch them into the great innovations and then learn at a, at a stage to provide the ability to the r and d departments and this r and d department can be internal as well as the organization so one is a academic career the next is a professional career where i think 90% or 80% of the people were talking about right so in this where you want to go out and you start your job so vertical different industry career is the most important uh, of the people interested into fetch themselves for social and trending use cases with the use of the entrepreneur enterprise and their own improvement so this is the area where you will be heading very soon so how it how it will help you out okay let's see in the next good slide and this is where i'm just guiding you how you can make use of it and why ai is not just for the computer science people so use i mean you what you can do is if you're not clear how ai is going to help you just google use of ai in stream and engineering so use of ai in civil engineering use of ai in electronics engineering in mechanical and all that 
I mean, this is just what I can give you from where you get a path and the direction to find out how <clears throat> you can build your career with AI in your stream. So it is for everyone in the engineering, everyone, right? And then we will move forward. I mean, I, I was so happy that uh, when we were interacting with the uh, uh, with the institution and uh, GIT Jaipur, and then they told, okay, we wanted this to be open for all the engineering. It's not just for the computer science people and all that. And I was so happy that thanks to the management and the people involved from GIT that uh, you brought this uh, holistic approach and this given us a real good idea that why not to present this and give this idea to all of the uh, engineering streams people, not only engineering, maybe a graduate and undergraduate and postgraduate people, those who are just coming out of the colleges, right? So thanks for that kind of an opportunity. Now let's talk about something very different. I'm sure I have talked about the academic career. I've talked about the jobs as a career. Now what about the chatbot or the evolution of a chatbot entrepreneurs? And this is a very unique term which is coming out in the market. Now, there are many use cases, which couple of use cases will be handling uh, very soon. The chatbot entrepreneurs, who are they? Let's take a quick example. There is a WASA, W-Y-S-A, WASA. They have created an artificial intelligence-led conversational platform for consultations on mental health issues. So they started with the mental health issues. They created a bot. They trained the bot. They trained the entire system. And then system starts interacting with the patients, those who have any issues. And with this conversations, they were able to build the confidence and trust and motivate the people, those who are basically on mental health issues. And it becomes a buddy for them because they can discuss any kind of a problem, right? So that's, that's one of the major, major thing. We have another case, two Bangalore brothers, uh, they have built a chatbot on the disability rights. I mean, think about a use case where this, uh, one of this uh, uh, person was a disabled person, but Sometime it's not possible for him to see or read the documents. They're worried that government have so many of the rights and policies and, and many things for the disabled people. But how will the disabled people will be able to know about it? What they get done is they created a Google Assistant. They trained the Google Assistant with all the possible uh, rights and policies and benefits the disabled people have. And the disabled people can just talk to their phone on their phone invoking a google assistant and get the answers to that so another beautiful case study on how you can build a bots and make a use of it it's a beautiful use case the third is another a chatbot gives you a news update and tells these stories too so once you know about this bot they just give you the news. So you have to just say, okay, hey, let me know the news about Corona. Let me know the news about AI. Let me know the news about this. And this particular app helps you out with all that information. They have built a huge uh, user base. There's another which helps you for the test preparation. Now, they have 65,000 odd users, those who come and ask approximately 10 uh, 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 questions. And they have a database of now almost 10,000 questions plus. I mean, uh, 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 they have gone a uh, huge, there's a little old data where the people come and ask the questions and you get the answer. So any engineering question you want to ask, you can ask any management question you want to ask, you ask, and then you get the answer to it. So that's a specific. So this person have built not a software, not any other career, but they have are now the chatbot entrepreneurs. The last one, which I'll take is from the health side of it. They have prepared a health bot. This help bot helps people to basically find out the initial symptoms of what problems you have. After you find out the symptoms, they help you connect to the right set of a doctor. Okay, you have these symptoms. Now, depending on your budget, you can pay 100, you can pay 500, you can pay 1500. Depending on that, they consult or they connect you to the right set of a doctor. So nothing, they are not a doctors, but they help in terms of conversation and close and basically connecting to the right world. So. What we saw with everything is a future with a conversational AI. And this term is very handy term. You can actually Google this term. You'll be able to find out that the conversational AI is an AI which help you and me to do the conversation. And this conversation will help in terms of addressing your problems, addressing your 
queries, right? Now let's move to a very interesting thing. So uh, this I've anyways explained to you, like conversational AI is the fastest way to have one-on-one -on -one personal conversations across multiple channels and with. So where do we start? Any ideas? Uh, there are all engineers out there and uh, computer science, uh, civil, mechanical, all of them are there, right? Now, if I suggest you now, we need to create one conversational AI, which can help everyone to become himself as one of the brand that I talk about civil engineering and I talk about aeronautical engineering. I talk about mechanical engineering. So me as Swapnil is loving civil engineering. I want to make a bot. I want to make a virtual assistant, which will answer civil engineering related questions. This is something which uh, clicks to my idea. Do you guys have that kind of an idea? OK, meanwhile, think. Also, I will just put up one poll quickly. I'm not sure if I will get. Uh, yeah. I've just published uh, one poll. And uh, you guys can help me out with the answer there as well. There were a few set of and polls which I was supposed to be setting, but unfortunately, I did not get time to set it up right now. But yes, I'm waiting for the ideas because something very interesting is going to happen now. Right? Superb. I think that's an interesting thing. More than two times a day is the maximum around 50 people percent of the people uses that good great super so meanwhile you keep on answering let's do one thing do you guys would be interested to build one bot one virtual assistant right away you guys want to build it i can this is a start point for your ai career so one i want everyone to have one idea i want everyone to go along with me right what are we gonna do now quickly now, this is a site okay where i belongs to or i there's a qr code there's a link in case uh, if uh, anyone is not able to scan the qr code go ahead log into this immediately create your login and we all together are gonna create one bot right now uh, Akram, just help me out with the time I have in hand. Accordingly, I will tweak this. I guess, uh, Swapnil, we can continue for another 25 minutes. That's wonderful. I think then in 25 minutes, I'm going to make so many AI specialists, right, in, the <laughs> in this session. <laughs> so meanwhile, we log in. People, I'm sure you will be able to log in, right? We are keeping the last 15 minutes for the Q&A round. Right. Should be fine. So till 12.15, you can continue for sure. Should be fine. Now, what I'm doing is I'm turning a screen share on. I'm I'm awning my screen share, OK? So I will be awning one of my screen shares. Just let me see. Mm, yeah. Right. And I believe somebody from my team, uh, technical team, may be there on the support. So in case if somebody from my team is there on the support, please see if people can answer if there are any questions. So if you guys have been able to log in, let's try creating a one bot immediately and learn how to start the basics of AI. OK? OK, sometime my voice is low. Yes, that may be because of the internet issues. OK. Now, what I've done is you guys can just, the moment you're logged in, you have a add new bot. OK, you can create a, a, a new bot. I've just created one with GIT. And uh, the moment I click, you will be able to see GIT right there on the top right corner. Hope the internet supports 
to showcase everything here. Now, the first thing is a build, OK? Just look into the build option. Once you have an idea, I'll take another one idea and I'll move with that idea. The another idea is you guys have to create it. The second option, just go to the paths. The first is we will have to drive the flow. What are we thinking? So the first path is a welcome new user, any person who comes and interacts. So I'll just take a quick example. Uh, say, for example, I have worked with the Lions University Bangalore. I'm just letting you know what is going to happen. The moment you open up this particular site, uh, are you guys able to see my site? Yes, you are. OK. So just loading time is taking a little time for me. So the moment we log in here, you start creating. I'm, I'm creating one use case. So every one of you have taken admission somewhere in some colleges and in GIT as well. So why don't we create a quick bot, which is an admission assistant bot? OK, let's talk about the admission assistant bot. So if you see here, this is on the right bottom. This is Oshi. The moment you click on the Oshi, so Oshi is a virtual assistant for Alliance University. The moment you open up, you see, hi, it's great to have you back on the Alliance University. What do you want? There is a small video coming out of Alliance University, which you can play right here. Then what do you want to know? So your a virtual assistant is helping. OK, there are two ways. I wanted to know about this. I, uh, I can click on particular tabs and just find my information. Or second, tell me about the courses. That's the, another way of writing the information. So accordingly, I would get the answer. So courses. So the courses, when I put it up, I have this set of courses. Where do I want it to go? So if I wanted to know about, yeah, I want to know about PG courses, I have to just click. I want to go into the information. If I wanted to know about the MTech, I get the all the streams of the MTech. And I can actually go to particular and find out. So let's see how this entire thing was created in the backend, which helps any student to get the information without any human intervention. So the first thing I have welcomed. Yes, you guys will, uh, are maybe on the same page along with me, right? You will know that welcome screen is there. There is a small button, plus button here. The moment you click on this plus button, you have so many options in the backend. I want you to send a message to the user who is interacting. I want you to send a message with options. I want to create a carousal. So carousal is like one by one sliders which will come up. I want to ask a user data. I want to trigger a path to the different paths. So I'll let you know what is path. Everything, the direction this is you are seeing, this, these are the paths. OK, so these are the path what we wanted to create. So let's first create a simple thing step by step because having a limit on the time. And uh, believe me, guys, those who are online, those who are right now with us, those who are creating these users, I will give an access. I will allow all the participants an access for approximately a month's time. They can learn, they can create, and they can start their board building process. And I'll be happy if somebody is so, so much interested, go to your management and ask that we wanted to help our I team or we want to work with our I team in creating cer certain things. I mean, your management would help. I will talk to the management and that opportunity can be given to the right set of people. So uh, that support we'll provide to the people, those who have attended this webinar today, right? So I'm going and creating an option, okay? A uh, very quick. You guys carry on with your idea, taking in insights from my idea, okay? What do you want to know? The first question probably is this, right? The moment I do next, as I have selected with options, I got the options here. Here, courses. I want to know about the courses. I want to know about the college. I want to know about uh, infrastructure okay so these are the three things typically what i wanted to know okay and infrastructure placements aapko placements ke mein jana hai. 
and you have saved this. So if you see here, I have just created a drag and drop. अभी इसके पीछे पूरा AI का coding है, इसके पीछे सारा codings है. But this entire platform is made in such a way that you can pick and drop the things and create where you really do not need a coding skill. So any engineering guy who have an idea to build something on top of AI can build here. Any mechanical guy can build here. It's not that you need to be a software engineer to write the codes for AI. So this is a place one. Abhi courses hai. About the college batana hai, placement batana hai. So let's talk about how do we create a path now. I'm creating a path. Courses and I'm saving it. Path had it successfully. I'm the start of the path now. The moment I start of the path, I can go ahead with the options again. Select the courses. Next, I can talk about MBA. I can talk about BE. I can talk about law. I can talk about other, say for example, ME. Okay. So these are the courses which we wanted to create. So I have created another path. I have created that path with the options. So courses is my path. There are options. So now I'm just holding it here because I'm just sharing an idea how easily you can connect things and how easily you can work on. Them. Now let's go to my welcome new user. I created a course path here. The plus sign, I need to trigger a path right now. Ye yahan pe koi bhi agar click karega, to usko mere trigger a path pe jana padega. Kaun se path ko trigger kar dhu mein? Mene usko courses dikhana hai. So I just created a courses path. Bang on. So we connected that. Ye courses connect ho gaya. Trigger a path. I got a courses. Ki haan is pe trigger hoega courses. And the same I can do it for the rest of the Okay, just for the sake of a time, we'll leave these two and we'll continue with the courses. So I click on here courses. You see, I have connected all the courses right now. Let's go to the B. I can have another set of an option. Mm, uh, what could be the question? Uh, what do you... No. Next. Mm. Placement. I want to know about fee. I want to know about mm, labs. Right? And I've just saved it. Abhi yahan tak aage, now I'll do fees. Okay. Fees me meko aapko sif message pass karta hoon. I'll just pass on the message. Uh, the fee for the BE program is, say, uh, I'll just put random amount. Okay. Per annum. So this is what I wanted to send a message to you. Okay. And save it. We are clear here. This is a small flow what I have created. I hope everyone is aligned with me. Uh, on the information, right, I think, yes, let's now do one thing. So I'm just creating this much. Isko open test karte hai. Is it working? Is it not working? How will it respond to you? I go to the deploy option. In the deploy, I have so many features where I can deploy. I can deploy it on the Facebook Messenger. I can deploy it on the WhatsApp, in fact, OK? so that the persons can directly communicate with me over the WhatsApp business API. That's a third category of the WhatsApp. I can uh, deploy in Slack, website, Twitter, all the places we can deploy it. Okay. Now let's go to the website chatbot. I have a link here. Let me click the link. Right. So we have this link. What we created is right there with us. We have option courses about the college, about the placements. 
I click on the courses. I get to select the courses. What are the courses I wanted to know about? I got that option because we triggered a path. If you all remember, we triggered a path and then we have got these options. Now I want to know about B. Okay. It tells me about the B. What do you want to know? Placement fees and all. So where did we enter certain data? I believe in the fees, right? The moment I click on the fees, I get the answers. Now in the backend, what has happened is the information is stored into the AI. You're training this AI system that how the information will come. Once you have trained, now there could be a problem. Okay, if you see in the bottom, I want to know about the fees. You have not told that system that this is what I wanted to get the information all. So now how do we address that? Because now you have to make it a user friendly. Users or students can ask any kind of questions. So we move to the FAQ sections. So the FAQ section, which is blank right now, I will write a FAQ. I will say b.e fees. Okay. Add. Uh, course fees, right? Added. I'm adding a variations of the questions. With this variations, my system. Ko maine se doi chiz hai train kar rahe hain. Then let's see in the backend how the machine learning works. That machine learning will have to learn from this particular uh, terms what we have given. So self-explanatory hona ja hone hote jana chahiye machine ke liye. The moment somebody asks this question. Yeah, I wanted to pass him a path. And we all guys know that the path what we created was the courses. Can we move him to the courses? The answer is yes. But in case I don't want to move him to the courses because he have to follow the path. What will I need to do? Either I take a message here and directly give the answer. The fee is... One leg per annum. Many ye koi bhi questions aayenge. Please answer this particular thing. So I will for your and our understanding. We will talk. We will put it. This answer is from FAQ segment. Okay. Right. Let's add it. Okay. I don't want that. So add it. Wonderful. One FAQ added up. Right. Now let's go back to our system and we say what is the piece I, uh, probably i need to refresh it but let's just try great you have trained the system now what is the fees and uh, let's go here once again and check B fees or course you have not written what is the fees question exactly this is where the you are seeing a use of a machine learning that machine learning is helping you guys to basically learn, uh, uh, get your entire bot ready and learn from it uh, uh, from itself. So that's where my idea was to showcase you one use case, how this will move. The rest is yours. You can create your thought processes. You can create your skills. You can uh, uh, think about an ideas and you can pursue that idea and create a so well uh, virtual assistant that then you once you have created say for example civil engineering so you have created and say oshi is a name oshi civil bot assistant and you have trained that civil bot with all your books whatever knowledge you have whatever practical knowledge you have whatever pdf you have whatever videos you have you have everything and you have created that bot now that bot has become superly powerful bot for you. You think, yes, you have trained it, you have trained it, made it. Now is a time where the entire learning of Mr. Akram comes in. Brand. Brand you. You and your assistant, you are branding themselves and showcasing the world that this is an assistant in the AI, what I've made, this answers everything. But don't you think, agar ye aapne bana liya, or aisa aapne kuch learning kar liya, this is a learning what you have done, Aapka resume, sir, aapko pe liya jayega? 
the interviewer will be shocked oh my god it's not you're not talking just about the learning now you're you're showcasing me you're showcasing me the product you're showcasing me the skills ki social media mein kahan kahan hai you're showcasing me ki aapke users kitne honge so the uh, by the way let me just uh, share you this thing also quickly uh huh. okay so i'll just go and save here i'll just take you to my any other bots let's take one of the bot i'm taking as an example for one of the healthcare industry we did okay ki aapko data kaisa kaisa mil sakta hai now this is all the uh, bi skills okay this is all data science data all bi what we are getting into now so i'll not take much time there but yes i just wanted to show you what is happened let's go to the engage kaise users aapke engage hue hain right so i'll say all 90 days ka data mere ko dikhaiye so a sample mein i have around 1000 plus interactions average interaction per user average conversation and duration ye sara data mujhe mil raha hai sabse zyada information kisne kya puchi ये आपको यहाँ पे मिल रहा है तो so, अगर आपने सबसे ज्यादा बी के बारे में पूछा तो बी के बारे में पूछेंगे इसके जो भी आपका सब्जेक्ट रहेगा यू विल गेट टू नो राइट हियर व्हाट इज द वर्ड व्हिच इज बीन सर्च मैक्सिमम देन वी गो टू द रिस्पॉन्सेस राइट कितने लोगों को मैंने रिस्पॉन्स किया नहीं किया वो डेटा आएगा सेकेंड आएगा रिटेंशन कौन कब मेरे साथ में रिटेन रहा है सो दिस इंफॉर्मेशन कम्स फ्रॉम डे वन टू डे थिंग and then the most important thing is jo main aapko dikhana chahta hu how easy it is to train your bot so train your dragon right similarly train your bot because you have to make it intelligent this is a place where you get all the questions which are left unanswered right agar apan apna jo apna git ka banaya tha agar main yahan banata hu and for the git itself i think for you the management team who is here I mean, this can be helpful to you as well. Uh, I mean, you are doing one of the super best job of feeding seventy thousand plus people in the Corona time. I mean, there may be the questions people have: "Ki aap kaha kaha pe feed kar rahe hain? What is your feeding location?" So, I mean, uske liye mere paas mein ek bot ho sakta hai. So, there can be any use case where this is help is available. Uh, we were talking about the train, right? Yeah, train. So, what is the fees? Ye sabse pehli baar mein answer nahi hua tha, right? उट दीज नहीं हो तो अब मैं क्या कर रहा हूँ जैसे ही मैं बोल रहा हूँ इसको ट्रेन आई कैन एक्चुअली ट्रेन दिस विद मैसेज और आई विल क्रिएट अव मैसेज एंड ट्रेन दिस पर्टिकुलर इंटेंट सो दिस इंटेंट कैन बी ट्रेन वंस यू आर ट्रेनिंग योर बॉट नाइसली हियर एवरीथिंग इज डॉ सो दैट्स दैट्स वॉट आई वॉन्टेड टू शो यू गाइज दैट हाउ गुड एंड इजी दी प्लेटफॉर्म आर नॉट ओनली फॉर software engineers but for everyone who wanted to do something in the space of ai build something of their own now you create something of your own as an ai and then mix a brand to it create a brand to it and you are a potential person who can be hired by anyone wherever you go for interviews that's how what i can help you out with letting you know the basics of ai so over to you akram and team uh thank you so much swapnil uh i guess the insights were more on a topic which is very very important in these times and i guess uh, the way you uh, gave us the practical implication of it i think so gave a learning to most of the participants so thank you so much and i'm sure uh, especially the management of git would appreciate that something like this could be brought on the table and you know uh, especially with the audience that are present today and we are getting very good uh, a uh, feedback as well so we'll let's not waste more time and uh, i would request uh, the audience to kindly start putting up your questions uh, swapnil you can randomly pick uh, anything that comes across which you believe is uh, you know worthwhile right. answering and it's common across right i'll pick it up so i'm on the chat now uh i'll go a little up and i'll uh, assist in so there are few will try soon very good is a helpful enhance cvs of other students why it don't belongs to the engineer is it helpful enhance cv of other students who don't belong to engineering sector i mean yes this can be worked for any it's not important only for engineering i mean i'm 
I'm the one who have done my entire career in the management. And we all have seen the trend that all the engineering people actually moves to the management side of it. I'm a little reverse that said I did everything on the management and moved to engineering side of it. So it can be for anyone. Yeah. Uh, uh, one doctor says that excellent session and he have written his details. No. Okay. Any certificate for the program? I mean, this is not at my end. Uh, so basically, there are some common questions in terms of uh, there was an audio uh, clarity issue. So we are going to send you the link for the recording. Uh, any issues uh, apart from that, anything you want to get in touch with, you can uh, directly approach uh, Swapnil or me also. Uh, Swapnil, you can share your details. Uh, yes. If somebody's not taken the QR code, you know, if, if they want to share your details. And uh, meanwhile, you can get in touch with the management of... Uh, GIT, they'll be happy to help you with any kind of concern that is there. Any questions we are not able to answer, we'll be happy to replying you to them on the mail as well. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, uh, <clears throat> I'll... I'll uh, 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 Swapnil, there is one more coming uh, by Dr. Thakur. She says, uh, uh, how media can itself, you know, be more uh, uh, useful in this particular, the industry of media. For the industry of media? Yes, uh, how you can get in some AI inputs related to that. I mean, yes, uh, see, uh, uh, as such immediately, I don't have anything in my mind. But what I can relate to is when you talk about the AI in media, uh, media is something which talks about news, which talks about expands, which talks about many other things, right? If you pick up one of the areas that, uh, and we all know that uh, Akram, you come from the entire media industry, right? Right, right. Uh, it cannot be jack for all trades. I mean, one person cannot be good in the criminal news or the analytics news or the entertainment news and everything. Everyone have a specific area to play. Yeah, so each has a different genre, basically. Yes. Right, right. So if that's the case, why don't you make yourself a uh, skill and niche in one area? Right. And Create your replica, create your clone, and that clone is now 24 by 7 available. So I would I would also request Dr. Thakur to get in touch with me because media has been my forte in the last many years. So if uh, specifically you are looking for inputs in terms of your background, we'll be happy to help you. Right. So what I've done is I've just uh, putting my Twitter as well as LinkedIn handles detail on the chat. And sure. people can just get me connected there. Uh, it will be easy for everyone to know me there. And we can get connected from there. And meanwhile, I'm sharing my personal mail ID. So you can uh, refer to this webinar today. And uh, you can get in touch with me for sure on that as well. And uh, we also want uh, uh, GIT management to kindly support us with their uh, contact details. So I have put up uh, both my Twitter as well as uh, this on the chat. So in case if it needs to be published by the moderator, they can please publish it. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Viraj Kandelwal. Sure. Good afternoon, sir. I, I would like to thanks to Mr. Akram for their valuable time. You guide the audience for learning latest technologies. You inspire us for focusing career and one self improvement. You, yes, you said well that it is all about coming out of the cell, about exposing, about learning new things at every stage of life. We all will do that. On such note, I would like to thanks to Sir for inspiring all of us. What a lovely present! Thanks a lot, Mr. Lovely, uh, Mr. Swapnil. What a wonderful presentation. Now, everyone now about, about how to create a bot in face. Most of us first time created a bot by self. I must say lovely, wonderful and very informative session. Thanks a lot, sir, on behalf of everyone. And we can see it comments section. Everyone is amazed with what of the presentation, both of the motivation. A special thanks to Rajesh sir for conducting this smoothly and making arrangements so beautiful. Uh, I also request to all present uh, participants, please give the feedback. Uh, there is one more thing, sir, we can add on behalf of, uh, I just read uh, the 
Director Nidhi Ma'am has said that the certificates will be provided as a e certificates to all the participants. So you can confirm that also. Yes, sir. We we share the certificate by register mail ID. All the participants, please submit the feedback. So one more thing, we in fact really wanted to understand uh, how all the participants are they mostly from the Rajasthan area, sir? Yes, sir. Okay, because you have the details, so I'm sure you yeah, will yeah. be knowing. Uh, thank you, thank you so much, sir, for thank you, for giving some opportunities. Thank you, Sapni, sir. Thank you. Thank you, thank you sir. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you, participants.